हेलो एवरी वन वेलकम बैक टू द साइंस क्लास चिल्ड्रन टूडे वी आर गोइंग टू कंटिन्यू विद द सेम लेसन दैट इज लेसन नंबर फोर्टीन ओके एंड द लेसन नेम इज द सन मून एंड स्टार्स ओके एंड दिस इज पार्ट टू सो इन लास्ट पार्ट वी डिस्कस्ड अबाउट द सन स्टार्स and constellations okay so we'll quickly revise the topics the sun is the brightest object in the sky okay and the sun has heat and light of its own without sun there would be no life on the earth okay the sun is a huge ball of very hot gases right the sun is a huge ball of very hot gases then the sun is a star it is the nearest star to the earth that's why it appears so big to us okay the sun and the eight planets revolving around it form the solar system okay yes now we'll see about the planets a planet is a huge object that goes around a star planets do not have their own light okay the sun has eight planets that revolve around it the earth is one of these planets okay the sun and its eight planets belong to the solar system in the solar system the sun is in center and other eight planets are revolving around the sun okay tell me which are they yes mercury venus earth mars jupiter saturn uranus and neptune okay now tell me the biggest planet in the solar system yes jupiter is the biggest planet in the solar system right and our earth is at third position in the solar system right so the earth and its eight planets belong to the solar system then we learn about the stars right the stars are the huge balls of hot gases okay in the olden days people used their imagination to connect several stars to form a shape or pattern in the sky right so this group of stars forming an imaginary shape or pattern in the sky is called constellations okay so these are the examples of constellations first one is the great bear the second one is orion the hunter and the third one is hercules okay yes so constellation have been named after animals or people from ancient myth okay then these are the examples the great bear orion the hunter then leo then canis major and hercules are some examples of constellation okay so the study of the sun moon stars and planet is called astronomy okay so children today we are going to continue with the same lesson and today we we are going to discuss about the moon okay yes so children what is moon tell me yes the moon is a ball of rock right the moon is a ball of rock that revolve around the earth okay 
the moon is a ball of rock that revolves around the earth the moon is the closest neighbor in the space okay the moon is the closest neighbor in the space okay whose neighbor the moon is the earth's closest neighbor in the space okay moon has no light of its own okay moon has no lights of its own it's it lit up by the light from the sun okay so moonlight is act, is actually the light of the sun reflected by the moon right reflected by the moon to the earth so moon doesn't have its own light it lit up by the light from the sun okay yes as the earth moves around the sun yes earth move around the sun right so as the earth move around the sun the moon moves around the earth okay the moon moves around the earth or we can say the moon revolve revolves around the earth right so it takes 28 days to complete one circle around the earth okay it takes 28 days to complete one circle around the earth so moon have huge hole holes on it okay the moon have huge holes on it so there is no air on the moon there is no air on the moon yes next see the moon has no light of its own and is lit up by the light from the sun so moonlight is the moonlight is the actually the light of the sun reflected by the moon to the earth okay so when moon goes around the earth different parts of it are lit up by the sun on different days okay you might have noticed that the moon changes its shape every night right so sometime it's appear in a circular in shape sometimes like a half circle sometimes a crescent and sometimes the moon disappear completely right so why the, why does it does this happen tell me yes yes moon changes its shape every night so it's because we can only see the part that is lit up okay so it looks as if the moon changes its shape every day when the moon goes around the earth different parts of it are lit up by the sun on different days okay so we can see the part that is lit up okay so it looks as if the moon changes its shape every every day yes the different shapes of the moon as seen from the earth are called faces of the moon so children today we are go going to discuss about the faces of the moon okay here you can see the different faces of the moon so children here you can see the earth then the moon and the sun okay so this is the first face of the moon see when the moon is between the sun and the earth okay the side of the moon facing us does not get sunlight okay so we cannot see the moon because its dark side faces us this is the new moon okay can now here you can see
yes here you can see this is the earth right and this is moon and this is sun so from earth you can see only this much part of the moon okay so this side of the moon is not getting the sunlight so this side of the moon is dark so we cannot see the moon on this day okay so the side of the moon facing us does not get sunlight so we cannot see the moon because its dark dark side faces us so this is called a new moon new moon means what no moon so on this day we cannot see the moon okay and this is the view from the earth see here we cannot see the moon so this day is called new moon or this phase of the moon is called new moon phase then yes so after a day or two days okay we can see small a small portion of the moon this is called the crescent moon okay now here you can see suppose this is the earth okay and from the earth we can see only this part of the moon okay so here we can see only this much part of the moon okay so here only a small portion of the moon is getting sunlight here so and this side uh, this side is dark side this side is not getting the sunlight so this shape of the moon is called crescent moon okay this is the view from the earth we can see only this much part of the moon so this face is called crescent moon okay yes we'll move to next face yes after a week or after 7 days we can see the half moon okay this is the half moon it is also called as the first quarter okay yes so after a week we can see half portion of the moon or we can say the first quarter of the moon see this is the view from the earth we can see only this much part of the moon okay so here sunlight falls on only this part of the moon okay this part of the moon is not getting the sunlight okay so we can see only the half portion of the moon because it is getting the sunlight so this is the view from the earth we can see here half moon okay so this is called the first quarter face of the moon here we can see half moon okay now we'll move to the next face yes two or three days later we can see more than half moon okay this is called gibbous moon so after eight or nine days we can see more than half portion of the moon and that face of the moon is called gibbous moon okay we'll see that face see here you can see the gibbous moon here you can see this is the view from the earth okay this is the view from the earth we can see this part this much part of the moon see this is the earth and from here we can see this much part of the moon right so we can see more than half the moon right so this side of the moon is only small portion of the moon is not getting the sunlight here right so we can see more than half the moon so this is the view from the earth so this face of the moon is called gibbous moon okay so now we'll move to the 
next phase yes so two weeks after the new moon the moon is on the opposite side right the two weeks after the new moon the moon is on the opposite side the side facing us gets sunlight so here we can see the full moon okay see now in this diagram you can see the moon here okay so here the moon is getting this much part of the moon is getting sunlight okay so this is the view from the this is the view from the earth we can see full moon here okay on day 14 see here you can see after the after new moon phase we can uh, uh, on the th day 3 we can see crescent moon then on the day 7 we can see half moon and on the day 10 we can see the gibbous moon and after 14 days we can see the full moon phase right so after the full moon phase again we can see the next phase of the moon right that is the gibbous moon on day 18 again the moon half, uh, more than half portion of the moon is not getting the sunlight here you can see see only this much part of the moon is getting sunlight right so more than half portion of the moon is getting sunlight so on the day 18 we can see this phase of the moon that is the gibbous moon okay then again on day 21 we can see the half moon see sunlight falls on only this much part of the moon so we can see the half the moon okay then on the day 25 we can see the crescent phase of the moon okay and again moon goes in new moon phase okay new moon means what no moon because moon is not getting sunlight on this part of the moon right so from the earth we cannot see the moon so that day is called new moon day right yes so the different shapes of the moon as seen from the earth are called the faces of the moon it takes the moon nearly 28 days to go around the earth okay so the number of days between one new moon and the next is 28 days right i hope you understand the faces of moon we shall meet in the next science session thank you and read the lesson.